Bye. Bye. So Monique's gone. Now starting the next leg of my journey. Tonight I'm getting a flight from Vegas to Guatemala via Dallas. So I've been sleeping in the airport tonight. It's going to be yeah, like an eight hour wait. So hopefully I can get a good sleep. I have chipped my tooth and I don't know what to do because I cannot be bothered going to a dentist, like just for the head bang. So am I going buck tooth for the rest of my trip? Fuck me dead, maybe. Oh. Um, there's lots of arts and crafts that people are selling, like jewellery and scarves, handmade textiles and leather bags. And yeah, it reminds me a lot of Cusco actually. It's very colourful and antique. Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling I just had a pit stop at a bar And I chatted to some people who have done the tour And they said it's not the right season to do it So I most likely won't see anything But it's still a really nice hike So now my expectations are managed um, I think I'm still just going to do the volcano tour tomorrow, get it over with, so I'm going to regret it if I don't do it. I just am. So I just have to do everything and I just need to do it now. So I'll do that tomorrow and then I'll do the lake um, after that. Yeah. Saturated. Good morning. So today I'm hiking up the volcano. It's a pretty difficult hike. It's going to take two days and then we camp overnight at a base camp. Oxygen is also going to be reduced by 40%. So that's another reason why we acclimatize overnight. Um, I'm allowed to borrow some like hiking gear because I'm going to need waterproof jackets because it's going to piss down rain. But hopefully it's fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna feel like fucking dirty as, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I don't, but hopefully from the top I will. <laughs> We've been hiking for maybe uh, an hour and a half of solid uphill upstairs and we have just reached the entrance. So let the fun begin. I am exhausted. I kind of wish I didn't do this. I'm not having a good time. I'm fucking dead. <sighs> but what doesn't kill me will make me stronger. Man, I'm fucked. 
we've climbed 600 meters vertical and we've got another 300 meters to go up but two hours more walking so a fair walk still It was very hard. this morning and then we've left at four to start climbing to the summit and we're so lucky because it's a super clear day and hopefully we see some eruptions <laughs> the last climb <sighs> nearly there I made it I don't want to waste what's left just kind of hang out on the trail and they've been following us up the whole way yesterday and to the peak early this morning and now they're getting cuddles. <laughs> well, we didn't see an explosion but we saw smoke and the sunrise so that's all right I'm happy <laughs> and we're going down to where it's warm and we can feel our fingers hopefully. Exhausted and hungry and just keen to get back to civilization to get a good meal. They did it guys! Woohoo! Made it back down to the ground and it was actually pretty awesome. I'm glad I did it. Even though I hated it yesterday, it was really, really hard. Like hours and hours of the near vertical, like basically crawling uphill. And we didn't even get to camp until like 5.30 p.m. So we didn't get the option to do the second part of the hike either, which I wouldn't have chosen anyway, but that just goes to show how fucked our group was. And then today we all just like sprinted down the mountain. So had energy today. I'm so hungry, I just ordered like half the menu at this vegetarian place that someone I just met recommended. Getting crickets, add falafel, and spring rolls. <laughs> spring roll. 